This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part four. And it's actually four, even though I said three at the end of the last video um, of the air conditioning tutorial. And just a quick little note as to what I did, because I'm playing around with the whole textures thing. Is I didn't want to do that. Um, I selected this piece, and then I selected this polygon here. I right-clicked on it, and I pressed Clone, and I pressed Copy. And then it makes a duplicate right on top of the old one. And then I selected this entire piece again, and I deleted this piece, just to tell you what I did. All right, now I'm going to work on uh, figuring out how to get the texture on here. I'll be back in a sec. All right, so coming back, um, I noticed that I made a mistake here in telling you to copy, because what happened was, if you did that, you'd copy the entire thing. So what you actually want to do is first delete the second thing thing. And apparently you cannot delete it. That's kind of weird. I don't know why I can't delete it. Um, hmm. Well, that is the weirdest thing I've seen. There's no delete button. All right, well, I'll go figure out why I can't actually delete that um, sometime soon, but for now, I'll just get it out of the way. But yeah, so, once you um, detach the little piece and you render it out, you'll kind of have something like this. Everything else is gray, but you have texture in the little area. Now, of course, it's not lined up, but we can get to that. And for my texture, bring up the material editor again. What I did was uh, make sure your render is um, mental ray, create an arc and design material, and in the diffuse color map, put the appropriate bitmap, which I will be uploading uh, eventually to probably my photo bucket channel. It's um, just a small little piece like this. And let's figure out how we're going to get this to line up. So go to unwrap UVW, go to face, and let's just hit edit. And for the display, let's give it map one, comfort air symbol. Let me just get this to where you guys can see it. And this is apparently what it looks like. Um, very strange, but all right. Let's just go here to move and scale it up a bit. Move it. Uh, just don't want that. Scale. Put a free transform and let's uh, pull. There we go. Pull it over there and pull it right here. And let's see what that gives us. Render it out, and ooh, we're getting somewhere. So now you can see um, our application materials. Now I was stupid, <laughs> and I uh, left the actual dials in when I took the picture. And for some reason, this one's darker. I don't know why. There must have been a sticker here or something. But yeah, I'll go get rid of those momentarily. Actually, I'll be right back while I do. All right. So I did a quick and dirty job of literally. <laughs> copy and pasting the uh, same texture over. Not the best, but these dials will eventually uh, cover it anyway, so we won't know the difference. Uh, next, what we're going to want to do is, let's see, uh, I want to show the material in the um, viewport. If I could figure out where that little button went, there it is. Alright, so now we can actually see our material in the viewport here. And we can select all of our little things. And let's move them into position. You can see they're a little bit wider. But and for some reason our map isn't circular, but we'll fix that. Let's go back here and edit, and let's just, oops, 
Come on, I'm gonna scale that up more. Apparently, it doesn't want to scale. Pre transform and we'll pull it out again. This should make them slightly more. Ooh. Well, it did something. And now it's backwards. Uh, let's actually go here and do that again. Yeah, there we go. And now we'll fix it again. So if we do that, how's that effect? So we want to get bigger. It's kind of a hit or miss thing here. And I'll work on getting the image uh, exactly proportionate for you guys. But for now, I'm just trying to get through this. Alright, that should be good enough. So, we'll go back over here. And, um, let's just select our little dials and see what we have. Just move them on top of where they should be. See, I don't know why, though. Everything is kind of shifted. Because if you look at our UVW map here, everything looks kind of right. Let's go to the face. And let me just put it over here. So if I make it real skinny, those get real fat. If I make it real fat, those get real skinny. Anyway, I will fix that for you all. So, we pretty much have our dials set. Oops, careful. And yes, so let's just give that a quick render. So, mm, not bad looking. It actually kind of looks realistic. I mean, except for the fact that these are skewed, but I'll retake those. And yep, so let's continue on. So, ah, ooh, that was almost a bad thing. So we have these little balls, mm, or whatever they are, feeler things, tactile sensors, fancy way of saying it. Let's move them back on. And apparently I'm being Skyped, but oh well. Let's go figure out who it is. Okay. And let's go back to our material editor here. And someone is going to continue to Skype me even after I told them not to. <sighs> okay, hopefully it'll go away. So, let's uh, make this a white material. Actually, we'll make it a little bit off-white. So a little bit yellowish. And that was the wrong material. But, alas, it doesn't matter. So, here's our off-white material now. And in the viewport, here I want to select all of the little balls. And then zoom in drag and drop the material onto them. Right, this will assign them kind of that texture. And next, let's um, well, let me go create the main texture for this entire thing. I'm going to go Photoshop it so that um, oh, haha, I can delete that thing now. I'm going to go Photoshop it so it's a seamless texture for the entire thing. I'll be back in a jiffy. Alright, so I've created a texture that's well, not exactly seamless, but it's pretty close. So, let's create a new art and design material. And double click on it to activate it. Go to the color. You want to select bitmap. And click the texture button. And let's just assign that to this. Make sure you can see it in the viewport here. And what we'll do is select this little thing. 
uh, UVW map. Go to the box. It should give it a nice thing. And you go to real. Uh, actually, real map size should have done it. But I don't know. Just leave it the way it is, I guess. Seems that doesn't look that bad. And go back to materials. And then you're going to want to zoom in here. And let's bring this into the link bump map to it. If it doesn't crash on me. There we go, link bump map. And remember to save. And in the material editor here, let's just double click this to get an enhanced view. And go to bumps. And let's bring this up to like 0.9. That way you can actually see something. Maybe two is even better. All right, let's do a quick render here and see what we have. All right, here we go. It actually looks uh, pretty decent for what it is. We're gonna have to play with some of the settings on the material, but in the meantime, let's go to the left-hand section, select everything we have, materials, and just. Oops. Uh, link it again and assign a selection. That way we get everything covered. And we'll deal with the uh, knobs momentarily. Go into here and bring the reflectivity down to about 0.2, glossiness at about 0.5, and maybe even 0.3. See how that affects it? Nope, too low. 0.5 will be good. And diffuse, that's good. New transparency. All right, that's good. We can actually probably increase this to 2.5. You don't want to jump that up too much, but I want it to be uh, at least a little bit good looking. Now let me. Well, actually, let's create one more arc and design material here. This will be the material for the knobs. Let's select them all and link them to it. Oops. There we go. And we're going to want to kind of get a brownish color going on. Brownish gray. I'm trying to match somewhat the same texture here. And also, I'm not sure if this will work, but I want to link this. Actually, no. I don't know. I want to link the bump map on this to this one. Just like no. Bump map. And okay, this is going to be difficult. Let's bring it down here. Bump map to there. Alright, nice. And it doesn't have as much of a bump on it, so we'll leave it at one. And just blow it up so we can get a little bit of a view. Looks pretty good to me. And we are closing in on the final stretch. Um, let's render this out and see what we have. And just position it a little bit. Alright, here's what we have so far. We have a little bit too much specularity here, but we'll fix that momentarily. Other than that, though, it's looking pretty good. So let's go over here. And we'll oops, drop down the er, This point one. And then point four. All right. And what else is there to do? pretty much it. I'll come back in the final part and then do a little bit of a scene setup, maybe put in some basic lights, and we'll see how it looks when it's uh, all done.